All right, man. So, um, so you've got the you've got the ultimate story, the ultimate immigrant story. My wife is an immigrant. Oh wow! Um, yeah, she when she came, uh, she like she also didn't have a visa for a very long time, uh, and then she like went to a ballet school mm-hmm. so she could get a visa from even though she didn't do ballet. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then she now she's been here for ten years. Um, so I understand, uh, it, it can be freaking tough, yeah. especially, you know, it's like the people that belong in the country, you know, like the entrepreneurs and, you know what I mean? It's like, sometimes you can't get the break because just the rules are the rules. Right. Exactly. And then people who, who barely value it don't, uh, you know what I mean? They're here. Anything right. Like, yeah. yeah right. It's exactly. ironic. See somebody like strong in the street trying to ask for money. I was like, dude, you know what luxury you're working with right now? Yeah, well, you, it's, you know, you don't always know what you've got until it's gone. Until it's gone. So, um, yes, I used to do, I used to do real estate, and um, I was up in the Bronx one time. Uh, there was this like nursing home that got converted into apartments, and I was. This was like at the very beginning of me realizing that it could be nice to have or make money. Uh, I wasn't the wrong thing, but it was like a. I was in this. Uh, really terrible apartment on the last stop on like the four train four or five train oh, or something wow. like that like yeah. woodlong woodlong yeah oh, no, oh you know what uh yeah I, I can't tell if it was was it the last stop on the four or five or mm-hmm. or no 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 you know what it was it was like 145th all the way east on the on the east river which oh, wow. was a really yeah east bronx or something it was really bad mm-hmm. uh just the neighborhood was I forget about the neighborhood. The building was so bad and it was so crappy. And I looked at the apartment. I think they were asking like twelve fifty a month. Uh, and I, I forget about the price. I was just like, somebody would rent this place like that. Somebody that wasn't in college, yeah. like, you know, it was, or even I mean, college, it was such a bad place. And then when Mike told me that you were in, living in uh, Yonkers stock and shoes, I was at uh, that place came to mind. Yeah. It's uh, probably my, my place was worse than that. I, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Like yeah. first floor apartment, it was two bed, two bedroom, two bedroom original, three bedroom originally, and uh, they converted into four. You know, we had like eight yeah, oh god, that's the worst. Apartment, and it's like shower time is like crazy. All that stuff, all that stuff, and you know, it's like when I, yeah. If you spend your day in this, you have only one thing, one thing in mind, and it only can become familiar with, with like you become familiar with it. And by the time you know, it doesn't mean anything to you. And until this day, there is people just still living. Same people just still living in the same exact place. Yeah, I understand that. So yeah, you made it out, bro. Yeah, and I I'm think yeah. So happy, and it's I look back at it every time, and I don't take everything that that I have for granted. You know. I know, right? Well, I I don't personally know what it's like to be an immigrant, but my father also is an immigrant from France, um, so I'm first generation American. Do you speak French too? I don't. I wish I did. He didn't teach me any French, uh, <laughs> either, but I I only I do speak Spanish. Um, oh, nice. a little bit, yeah. Um, but here's the question I have for you. So you you got involved into uh, we got involved into you got involved in selling websites and OMG, right? Building your own. Um, agency site and getting calls. I, I, Mike Long is so good at distilling stories into mm-hmm. moments, like the moment when someone from your oh, like job didn't believe you could do it. And then yeah. they called it just to make sure <laughs> yeah. your phone number to make sure it was like yeah, a real thing. Sure it's me and all that stuff. That's hilarious. It's people crazy. don't, yeah. People don't know what, what's what the best part about that story is that person's own personal limiting beliefs. Yeah. He pushed them on you. A hundred percent. And you that's know? like what it is. If you don't have like, if you have like five of these people in one place and you are the sixth person, you can't go nowhere. Have a tough mindset. There's no way you're going out of it. That's exactly right. You're going nowhere. You're not going to get out of it. Um, your brain is like designed because we're like, you know, pack humans, right? Pack uh-huh. mentality. Your brain's designed like, yo, you better stick with the way of thinking these guys have because that's where you'll be safe and you'll survive. 100%. Exactly. Yep. Now, uh, if you 
Yeah. I, I think about the first time I decided to like walk out on the job. It's like, you know what? I'm going to be fine. I have everything set up. I have about $1,500 and that would last me about, you know, two weeks and literally anything, but within the next two, two weeks, I'm going to get a client and everything's going to be up and running. And you know, that's true. Right. It's you like, know, if your life depended on it, you'd get a client pretty quickly, right? hundred percent. Yeah. That's so true. That's so mm -hmm. true. You're not going to fail when you can't fail, but you also can't be, of course, you know, desperate. But anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about was just, and um, is, so you had this, you, you know, you, you obviously got access to Greg Morrison style SEO. Yeah. And, uh, you know, with your last penny, that's probably was more than the last penny you had, but <laughs> You had access, you got access to it and you started realizing like, I can do this. I, I am the person, I am a one man gang. Right. Um, and then you got into websites somehow. Well, so tell me more about that. Yeah, pretty much uh, the, the idea about the SEO, I had a hard time selling it. Mm. I was, I was number one in the, I, I was number one in New York, in New York city. I was like maybe top three, New York city. I have Yonkers, I have the Bronx, I have New Jersey. No like way. Boston, I went all the way to Philadelphia. Like just ranking pages, right? And I got calls from like big, even big companies wanting SEO. And I didn't speak good English. And I would do, at that time, the strategy that we had, it works for a great salesman. You know, like this is what was, yeah. what was sold in OMG. You do a video analyst like a, a video analyst of the website, all this stuff. And by the time you realize you're sitting, trying to explain a client about backlinks, about, you know, like exact match domains, about like things that the client doesn't have no, like it does, it can give zero Fs about. Yep. I just want to know if you're going to make me money or not. So I, w I went through some difficulty. I record a video like 10 times to send to the client I would open it and they would be like, oh, this, this is like, maybe they couldn't understand what I was saying because my English was all over the place. And I still there have was, those there was two out. languages. There were two languages they couldn't understand, SEO and, and yeah, Muhammad English. English. Exactly. Yeah. So it got like tougher, even though like I got some people giving me like the first start, like, you know, so, so I started to get things going, but I realized that it's going to be really hard for me to sell SEO. Because like I have like every time that I get it, uh, I get, I got to a point where I would get a, re a request like uh, a client inquiring for SEO, get got the forms, intake forms fill up, and I just need to send the video analyst, and I would just wind it around and not send it and just let oh, it. Oh, got it. So you got into your own head, your a, a belief that's obviously inaccurate yeah. now, but because you've because you're in, you're awesome at SEO, obviously. How do we know? because you ranked all those websites exactly. and you got all the traffic, but there was a missing piece, right? For, I mean, first of all, I, I don't, it, it wasn't your accent. Accents don't, it's, it's maybe you didn't have the language, right? Mm -hmm. Like actual, maybe I'm not even language. saying it was, was I'm not language. saying it was, I'm just saying, but it was also a belief, your belief in yourself, which by the way, like, you're already so far, at, you know, at that point to start your own business and do what you're doing, how you had belief, but yeah, uh, there's always things that people are weak in. Everybody has areas that they're that. The, and then one, it's OK to be weak in areas, but sometimes those weaknesses can make us think that certain things aren't possible that definitely are if we were to just kind of accept that. Yeah. You know, you saw uh, maybe uh, Mike showed you Gary's the video with Gary. Gary V. Yeah, the video with Gary V. I just went up to his office. I was like, this guy was selling wine, and now he's have a marketing agency selling all this stuff to Chase Bank and Unilever, those big clients. I want to know the secret. I want to know how he made, he made, he made that transition. Because I can sell you this pen. Like, this is what I grew up doing. As a kid, I would go to the gas station, pump gas, put it in the, like, in a bottle, and go around and sell it to people that doesn't have electricity. Like retail it to them. I mean, oh, them. got it. Yeah. Oh, like for their uh, generators or? Yeah, for like literally for their lamps. They have like small lamps. That oh, they have their lamps. gasoline lamps? Yeah. And I would oh, really? foul, foul, like, fill the bottle with gasoline and carry it around like neighborhood with no electricity and sell it. So you vote. Yeah. You're an entrepreneur. 
Yeah, I would bring the gasoline. I would bring the matches. I would bring uh, mosquito coil, like anything that you need. I would bring it to you. So I like that. Selling has never been an issue for me. But I get, like when I started to transition to selling digital, I was like, this is like, it's like a lot of roadblocks after roadblocks. I, I would send like five, five video analysis and zero out of five. I was like, but, yeah, because time? this is so perfect, man. Well, what was missing essentially, uh, and I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm asserting that it was missing because Mm -hmm. You don't, there's nothing, what you're telling me is there's nothing that's like fundamentally missing from your, from this concept of sales. You have had success selling things. The one thing that Mike Long always talks about, he said, there's selling, sell anything versus selling SEO or selling a specific thing, because it takes a specific understanding of that service and the value of that service, not necessarily the technical skills right exactly. to do it because you had them in fact they recognize that of course by calling you um, so um you know so that's one of the things obviously you know in maps rainmaker and that's in um you know client phone domination and that kind of thing but so you moved so let me ask just a quick question do you have any uh, seo client consulting uh, clients right, right now? now yeah i have two you have two, one okay. Is paying, one is paying $2,000 a month and one is paying uh, $1,200 a month. Okay, got it. So yeah. you've obviously eliminated this concept of, you know, people don't buy SEO. Uh, you yeah, know. like definitely those clients are like two years clients almost, uh -huh. you know, and they just there do like on a monthly basis, just send social media, uh, like social media um, profile links to them. That's basic, go on uh on mark a market center, get some you know Google Google GMB optimization sent to them, and they're doing good and they're happy, pretty much. Of course, that's yeah. you know that's why they're staying with you. Yeah, got it. So I'm I'm following you on this. So obviously you no longer believe that people don't do that, but some between between when you were not having a success when you had the leads and everything like that, um, and at some point but now you some point you said okay i'm going to do websites yeah and what was your mindset behind that websites it's pretty much like okay i would see people calling for seo and they're like oh i need to i, I see more people calling for website design that was the first hey we wanted to design a website we want our website to design like, oh, we don't do website design. Go do the website, go to the website and we'll come back. We help you with the SEO. You know, have like on back on back and forth, like clients jump on for SEO for a certain amount of time and they they fall out. Things like that has been mm -hmm. happening because they're going through some really tough time and the you know, retention rate was like really not not at its finest. But on with, top of that, with on, like on SEO, you're saying on SEO back in the day. Yeah, you didn't, I mean. Back in the day, the resources that you were given, like to keep clients, right? Like that was kind of what OMG was trying to make happen was like, we, we know that people can execute on this SEO and like, you're going to be able to rank. That's not the question. So how can we help everyone with the rest of the business? Yeah. And that was the area that you were really struggling in. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, it's amazing. I was just thinking about how you rank, ranked your personal agency website and then you made like five or six of them from what you're telling me yeah. and you, they all generated it's leads. It's all from one website. It was from when You one built a website. new page? You Different built new... pages. Oh my even, God, that's even great. Even until today in Miami, I'm maybe in, in page two. And you haven't done anything in a while. I haven't done anything for the last three Jeez. years. Wow, man, that's really awesome to hear that. I yeah. mean, the staying power of that kind yeah. of SEO. So um, so you decided that, so for what I'm hearing from you, tell me if I'm wrong, is that you, if, if you got lucky enough to get an SEO client, you weren't, you didn't like understand how to keep them or the retention wasn't bad, wasn't good, or some the something along those lines. It's, it's, it's like something more in a personal level. I just did not focus as much on them as I was supposed to. In terms of results or in terms, in personal? In, personal in, terms of, in, in terms of results. Not, not results, it was there. They, were, they was happy. But for the lack of like contact, yeah, the yeah. communication. Communication or the lack of contact. And one thing that I listened to, like you and uh, Mike, you're like 
Michael, the way you guys do things is like so impressive in a way that, okay, make sure you guarantee 20 minutes out of your day at least once a month for us to go over things with you. A lot of time they just need that connection. Hey, we are doing something and the guys are here. Let's go see what's going on. Like a lot of time you would show them like, oh, what are you complaining about? Look at your rankings. Look at the calls. Everything is great. They're like, ah, maybe this happened because we did this. We did this. Or yes. This and they're trying to like discredit our part. And it's like, because you did not keep in touch, you did not like keep in touch and show them the evolution flow. That's where the link, the breaking link was. That's exact. That's so smart, man. Yeah. I want to tell you that a lot of the times that we've brought clients over from other agencies, it's because the communication was bad. They just yeah. said, I just can't deal with the lack of communication. Yeah. But the thing that I want to really stress is like, that's part of what we talk about. We talk about the hourglass glass shaped funnel, but how after someone come passes through that center narrow part of the hourglass, right. Then now we're back into another funnel. Um, we're back into uh, keeping them engaged and how we communicate with those clients after their clients, after yeah. they're, they've become clients for a while or along the way. It's mm -hmm. so important because we're essentially reselling them. Not like it's difficult We're we're demonstrating the value, but it's the communication of that value, right? Uh -huh. Giving the value is something you were already doing, but demonstrating and confirming acknowledgement and understanding of that value is so vital it can't it can't possibly be understated just like you were saying so that's not that's a piece that we've obviously i don't want to say you know we've figured out because we're not getting everybody to upgrade 3x the after three months but no i'm kidding we, we've definitely figured out um a huge piece of the puzzle um mm -hmm. and there's always more to figure out because we were getting amazing results last year um you know our agency is about uh 18 months old now Okay. And um, we were getting amazing results last year uh, for our clients, but there was a guy who wanted to stop using us. For oh, just for no reason. Yeah. Well, you know what we did? We mm -hmm. made a lot of mistakes. We made a lot of mistakes in communication. We made a lot of mistakes um, in dealing with the things that he thought were important rather than the things that we knew were important, right? Like phone calls coming in and you know yeah. that we were going because anyway so at some point you transition to websites now of course all those problems that you had you know we've got the answer to them now but you know 2020 hindsight where so now you're in you got into websites because you're saying and tell me if i'm wrong about this you were saying that even though you were ranking for seo people were still calling you and asking you about websites right yeah. Yeah, because I have website as part of the services that was on the website as well. Yeah, and even if you didn't, what happens is essentially you can't do SEO on a GoDaddy website. You can't do SEO that you need to do on a Wix website. That's exactly right. And this is like the big uh, thing that we hit the hit the uh, sorry hit a brick wall against last year in October at least. We were willing to like spend the money to get, you know, a WordPress website or whatever, a website that was going to be able to be good. Mm -hmm. But what ended up happening was that it just cost us so much. And we lost clients because of our crappy website solution. I wish I knew you then. Yeah. One second. I got a gift from my wife. Thank you. Oh, nice. Um, so we, yeah, so we understand the, this critical thing of a website, so critical not just for being able to get you leads, but so critical for being able to give the client something that they need so that you can do well for them on the SEO. And so that like the door is closed on the website. They're not thinking about the website anymore. And now we're focused on results. So you got into this and I've seen some of your websites that they're, they're nice, nice in the sense that like it looks functionally great, mm -hmm. but it also has a feeling to it. There's something about the site that you created, I don't know. Can you send me um in the chat box the URL so I can pull it up and, yeah. and tell you, so you know, so I'm not just BSing. It sounds like I can show you show you what I'm talking about yeah, when I say that. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna send you like a, a like a list of a lot of websites. Okay, yeah, put it in the chat box here in a second. Anything, and, you know, I sent like I was in a meeting with these guys yesterday. They have a working on a fitness a fitness application. Okay. And, you know, I was trying to sell them a website yesterday. 
yeah, well, the thing about websites is everyone 100% needs them. The way I look at it is a company that, you know, my company, Michael's and I company um, own, um, we, sorry, we, we only focus on SEO. The way I look at it is it's like a, we need to get that website piece done so that we can focus on the SEO. Exactly. That, I mean, wow, you got, you sent me a lot of mofos here. Let me, let me just see this here. Um, Smart men, UPAD. Okay. Here, let me, let me share my screen. This is just, I chose a random one here, but oh. right. So here's what, Okay, so I, I'm an artist myself. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not. I don't do anything on the computer, by the way. I'm just okay. like you know, make paintings and sculptures and online different on in no in real in like I make a, some origami. Oh, I do a, oh yeah, I do a lot of different things. Um, and with crystals, and, <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of different. Anyway, the the point is, is that mm -hmm. um, you know, you, your site here it has. I mean, it, it all works together with the red and the black. It's not like you just chose a color theme, but like it, it feels complete. Right. right. Um, I mean, this is a great looking website, dude. If our, I mean, I, I wish, um, I wish all of our clients had a website like this. Right. I wish that I could say that I made them the website like this. And I wish I could mm -hmm. say I did it not mm -hmm. spending a lot of money right. um, because we've spent, I want to say too much money on client websites and why it was too much money is because I don't think we ended up getting, um, we ended up kind of almost even sometimes losing a client. Uh, wow. I'm pulling this up because we just didn't do it right. Smoke and ashes. What is this? Is this a uh, uh, lounge cigar lounge? Oh my god, that sounds. This is the, the vibe of a cigar lounge is is super yeah. important. Oh yeah. wow, look, you did that smoke color here, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, it just you see this is the kind of thing like this. Um, this feeling like you're, this is, Oh, I like this color too. Yeah. This is a legit, um, like you look at this website and you're thinking, I'm going to, I would like to go to this place. Yeah. All right. And you just look at this and it feels like, um, it feels like the experience that you'd like to have when you're yeah. looking for an SEO company. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, so these are great. That's what I'm trying to say is you actually make, you don't just make a website that serves that's, that's uh, functional and good enough. I think it looks really great. So right. you, know, you, have, you have to have some sort of either talent desire or knowing that this is a need and really get good at it. So how do you, so let's say, um, so at some point people started calling you up for websites or they always were, but you started realizing that that was an opportunity that, was an opportunity. that you could, that exactly that you could take advantage of um, to be successful and help them become successful. Yeah. And then, and then maybe on the back end, offer them SEO or maybe not, maybe, maybe you just kept with websites. Uh, on page optimization package for $1,750 on top of it. And mm. it would take you literally like maybe $200 to do that job. It's like a small piece is offered and brand establishment package, which I charge $1,750 as well. It's like, oh, we're going to establish your Google, like brand consultant. Oh, you have a brand. What is it? Yeah, yeah but you are. The thing is, I think it almost sounds like, and this is like, you feel like you were making uh, like a really high margin. Mm -hmm. um, and you are, by the way. But just think about like this, the guy who, um, you know, like builds a house out of like clay bricks. Yep. The clay was in the ground. Mm -hmm. He already had the machine to press the bricks. Exactly. So is he cheating the person because he's charging them money for materials he didn't pay for? Hell no, right? Yeah. He's this is his skill that he has and he works hard yeah. to develop yeah. the skills to be able to do it. Uh -huh. And dedicates his time and his and his his back breaking labor and you've done that. So I think doing on-site optimization you obviously you're going to do it great it's a freaking it's a freaking um what is the word uh it's a bargain that's the word yeah yeah especially because one of the biggest problems with website designers uh, this is i can't understate that understand state this is if is they don't understand seo at all in fact their misunderstanding of seo is extremely detrimental to the client and mm -hmm. so what we come across is somebody will make someone a website and then we literally have to redo every single page. URL train, all the URL strings is not together. Yep. Any traffic they already have 
could get lost or have, might get you know erased because we have to change those things. And then one thing that we know doesn't work, and I, listen, I'm talking like I'm an expert in SEO, right? This is Michael um, and the rest of our team. Um, but we, we know that like a mistake we've made is trying to like, oh, let's take the pages that already rank and then we'll work with those so they don't lose the track. But, and that actually never ends up working the way we need it to work. What needs to happen is somebody who's legit at SEO comes in here, looks at this and makes the right onsite set, set up so that if you were to go in there and start doing power linking strategies or anything like that, yeah. that you'd be able to you know pick up with no speed lost from the beginning right 100 i think that's that's it sounds like you offer that right now which is pretty awesome mm -hmm. um and that that's like if i'm if i'm finding someone to like design a website i don't want them to just be a good designer which is of course important and i don't want them just to be able to do the onset i want them to be able to understand what i would do next right after they stop yeah you know uh, it's a good question. Pretty much like I believe our service of website design is goes to extend that. Okay, the client is in front of you. Hey, I want a website to, you know, I'll, I have a fitness application. I want a website and just start to start promoting the business before the app is ready. Mm -hmm. And this is like the main thing that you have to say. So we go through a strategy session where we break things down. Like, okay, the website this is basic pages we're going to have like five pages most of the time about service projects or, you know, or, you know, like folders for any type of content that you have that you want to share with the team, a contact page, so on and so forth. And then on the service section, we break in and the layout would be like, okay, how would people react to your services? You want them to send it to call you or send you a form, all this stuff. And we set up the way it would be easier for the client, depending on the type of business. So in, the, in a way, we give like full consulting to the client, help you structure the website, you know? Mm. And that's on like just onboarding phase only. And then after that, we do a full design. I'm like running ahead of myself here. I know you was going to ask me all those questions. We do a full design of the website first, like design, not coded. We don't work based on template. We don't work based on none of that. We do a full design of the website. And then you confirm the design. You're going to see all the pages and how it's going to look like. And then the next phase is you confirm everything. We start developing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because what you're, what you, the word you're not saying is holistic. It's a holistic uh, converting website because the old mentality, I think on a website was let me get something online here so that I have a website or let me get something on here. So I don't look stupid or let me get something on here. Mm -hmm. And then, but I don't think it was, let me get something on the internet that people can find so I can increase my phone calls. Yeah. Even yet. Yeah, right. Like that's yeah. not necessarily the mindset people have. It's, it can't be understated how valuable it is. Oh my God, I'm sweating here. Can't be understated how valuable it is uh, to have that mindset in place. If anything, like just, just knowing that in the background yeah. uh, is going to, I mean, of course, has me feel good about somebody doing um, our, the websites in general. Um, so now you're in the website game. So tell me this, this is when we talk about the sales strategy. Mm -hmm. Um, so the strategy, when it comes to like, how do you convert a conversation into a client, which is, okay. so, so, so let's talk about what you do, um, now, but then I want to hear the kind of the evolution at some point, but let's hear how you do it now, if, if you don't mind. Yeah. As you have noticed, I like talking and, you know, me too. Like yeah, I like talking. I'm obsessed with talking. So when I get a client, there's no way of you like getting away from me. I'll show you like the process is very, hey, this is um, Mohammadi. I wanted to, you know, to get my website redesigned. Want to know how you, you got, how much you guys charge. It's like, okay, so price is great, but we cannot talk about price because I don't even know what type of website you want. Why don't we set up sometime tomorrow? This time, this time works for you. Great. And that's like the onboarding session right there. Mm -hmm. Like we, you come back the next morning, it's like, hey, 
I know you have a chance to see a couple of websites that we have built on our website. If not, I'm going to run over a couple of them. That's how we, you know, we just want to show you different type of websites so you can see what you resonate with the most. And that's like a point where we used to like impress them with everything that we are doing, the different yeah. type of website that we are doing. Yeah, let me pause yeah. you for one second. This is, this is genius. I want to make sure we don't miss anything here. So right. um, the frame that someone's coming into this conversation with is that they found you. It's an inbound lead from your yeah. personal agency website. Okay, yeah. excellent. So they get on the phone with you and they say, Mohammed, uh, uh, by the way, doesn't everybody want the question of like, how much is it going to cost for you to make me a website? Yeah. Of course, that's a very reasonable question. But of course, it's you can't give them a real answer without yeah. lying not in a malicious way, just you can't, it's going to, it would be a lie for you to tell them because you have no idea what they want. So that being said, you're like, okay, let me talk to you about value. Cause you switch it from price to value exactly. because, well, it needs to be, that's the only thing to talk about. But what you also say is let's set up a time right now. And now you go right into scheduling the next time, which is, you know, yeah. a huge piece of the funnel. Now, between the time that you say, like you schedule tomorrow when you hang up the phone, do you send anything, no. any information to that potential client? I just set up the Google meeting link and they have it for the exact time that they want. And when they're on the call, that's where everything starts. Mm, oh my God. You know, it would be really interesting. Uh, what if, uh, so what do you, do you use any kind of uh, Calendly or any kind of like calendar appointment other than Google Calendar? Google Calendar right now. Okay, like, well, just yeah. talking to you, talking to you and everything you was doing with uh, ClickUp and all this stuff. Yeah, I set it up and it's it's just phenomenal. Oh like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I literally want to show you share share my screen with you and just show you something quickly. You know. Uh, yeah, so, I'm not, I'm I'm pro that. But let me let me, but you but what we're getting to is something really huge right now because okay, okay, yeah go. because because I I mean I can't I I love like coaching and seeing things it's like your system has been very successful and um which means you're doing so many things that are right what if we can increase the amount of things that you're doing right that's uh -huh. like right that's an issue that, that, exactly so one is if people are um, impressed by your websites which they of course if they weren't you know then they wouldn't tell you and you wouldn't feel it and they wouldn't buy all that so what if you like had an email that you sent to them that was like, hey, in case you wanted to know, these are some of our websites that we've made. Let, let me, let's maybe we'll talk about what you like tomorrow on the call. So now they look at it or they don't look at it, but if they do look at it, they're coming into the call already like 15 to 20 minutes in. Yeah. But yeah, that, essentially you fast forwarded the sales calls forward. just now, mm -hmm. right? And then now, instead of talking about like showing them that you're great and having them be sold on that, on that first 15, 20 minutes, now they're telling you what they want. And then what's implied is you're the guy I want to do this for me. hundred percent. What do you think of that? Amazing. I love it. This would be like an extra step forward. A lot of time when I get on the call with them, Hey, this is a couple of websites. We're going to go over, we're going to open all of them in the window just go through them. So you can see it. And you know what's funny? Sometimes a client will be like, I want this, right? So I have like a Tau Capital website. If you look at it, it's, yeah. I'll put it here. It's my, right. I have like investment company that I set up, was doing it back yeah. like a couple of, a year ago before COVID and stuff. But I had that, showed that website to a client. The client have a car dealership. Car share is worldwide. The second website. This guy said he won the same exact video that the same exact video that is on the investment company website. I was like, dude, <laughs> the videos are not related. I know. Oh, but I like the way it shows the upper west side. Just to say, but just giving them insights as far as like different websites to choose from, they see exact type of models, model they like. Yeah. Upper West Side, you're talking about Manhattan? Yeah, Manhattan. You have like I grew up on 70th and West End Avenue. Right there. Wow. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. Back back when it, it was there, back when it was a it was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. A lot more it was a lot more calm and relaxed and more like family. Now I wouldn't I wouldn't live there anymore. 
Um, <laughs> but anyway, where I'm, for, I mean, it's, there was a lot of places to play basketball, which was the only one oh, that, yeah. that was That's important amazing. to me, like yeah. five parks to play ball in. Yeah. But so I'm, I'm loving what you're saying right now. So one of the things I'm picking up on, and by the way, I've never focused on websites. I've purposefully mm -hmm. wanted to stay away from them as much as possible because we didn't have access to creating something that I think someone would like. And we don't honestly, um, like one of the reasons why we can tell people like, no, or mm -hmm. stop when they say they want something or they're coming forward on an idea mm -hmm. is because we're so clear what we're great at in our experience. And if we had that with the website, we might be, feel comfortable like giving somebody an option for that, but we're just, it's out of the comfort zone. It's out of this, like for me to even continue talking about it, we just, I wouldn't even have the language to tell you why mm -hmm. it's not workable for us much more than I've already said, just because it's been just so it's been a point of like, not just like when you said you couldn't sell SEO, mm -hmm. right? Like we, uh, it was like our struggle was like, we couldn't do websites. And that was kind of almost the exact same thing. Obviously, you know, your success, you can do it mm -hmm. now. So how many, um, just so people can get an idea, like, so one of your websites, an average price, is that around 5k? Like Mike Long was telling me. Yeah. Minimum 2,500. Yeah. They're like a one page, like, um, a five page website with like service section. Maybe they have four or four sure. or six services. And that the services doesn't have a specific open page, like specific page. It's just like a contact us form or a link that you know takes them from them to the contact uh, contact us uh, page to fill up or whatnot. Website like that, we can do twenty five hundred. Sure, and you know you probably can pump them out. You have a process creatively, color color wise, all that kind of stuff. Pictures. Mm -hmm. So the, the twenty five hundred dollars, like design and development part. So what we do, we have like a branding package that we sell them to. A branding package and the branding package. It's funny. I like. I'm not like an Eric type of organized like things pre set up. I sell them the branding package depending of the client ability to pay. Oh, you know, sure. Don't you think we sell, sell people SEO based on their ability to pay? <laughs> exactly. And I was like, I don't have, for my branding, I just, like yesterday, I, I, what I wanted to show you something that I sent with a better proposal. It's a, like, it's a, a buddy of mine, a friend, and I told, like, I sold him the branding package for a $600. No yeah. longer sell it for $1,200 for, you know, somebody sure. that is, that is that thing. So, do we have design and development, $2,500. We have the branding section, which is like $600 to $1,200, depending on the client yeah. ability to pay. And on top of that, we offer them a brand, a digital establishment, I'll call it, package. Which is, is that the on-site in the listings, directory listings? Yeah. Digital establishment is the directory listing. I charge that $1,200 to $1,750, depending on the client ability to pay as well. And... Pretty much on that side, we establish, we build all the social media profiles. We start creating a Google My Business. It's it's good for like fresh businesses, very like instant. They they jump on it if it's a fresh mm. business. You, know? you see, right? Yeah, you've opened the door up to essentially get a fresh business in your door with the business model. See, I, we would never take on a fresh. Well, never is a strong word. We, we would be very unlikely to take on a fresh business because they wouldn't have um, the two thousand dollar maybe 15 minimum budget that we would need to, to really feel like we can make a profit and help them. And that it would be a good idea for them to commit mm -hmm. to that for six months. Now you said something interesting. You said, um, I sell someone a branding package, but you could, you could insert any other thing that you could sell. And then you said, based on how, I mean, I think like how much money the client has, or yeah. I forget what the word you said exactly was. Exactly. But how do you know how much money they have or whether they can afford it? Uh, depending on their profile, like uh, we got a, a call for an actor, right? For, uh, Dominic Jackson, she's, a, she's, a act, she's an actor. She has a great TV show going on called Pause. So right off the bat, her bill is $8,000. Literally everything is just jacked up to the top, right? How like, come? Okay. No, because, oh, she's, she got a call. She, she, we got a call. Hey, you did a website for Sean. They recommended me you guys told me you guys did an incredible job for you i would like mm -hmm. to set up a meeting with you guys and say will you, yeah will you do more for her for eight thousand dollars than you would for 1500 a hundred percent totally okay. tell me yeah I, I wanted to be clear because 
it's like when you you don't change the price like when someone gives you this is a thing we've been introducing is when someone says i want to spend less they're essentially bargaining against themselves because then you can bring less value a hundred percent tell me more about the increased value that you'll bring for eight thousand dollars the increased value for instance on the branding side we're throwing some email email signature throwing some business card design we're throwing some like t-shirt mock-ups we're throwing like Anything that entails the brand, I have well breaking down. And all this stuff goes into it on the $1,200 branding package. Mm. So you, you pretty much thought of things that they probably haven't thought of yet. That I haven't thought of yet. And it's like, oh, wow, T-shirt. Oh, wow. You know, like uh, email signature, I need it. Wow, business cards, I need it. You know, like those type of things. Sounds like it makes you look really good, though. Like, you know what I mean? Because you're coming into this kind of... Now, like, um, you're relieving them. Well, let's put it like this. When I go to someone who I know is going to do the kind of, like, full thinking through of things that mm-hmm. you are, mm-hmm. I'm so much more likely to buy from them because I know that they've done the level of critical thinking around this that I would do myself if I had the knowledge of the industry in order to be able to do that critical thinking. Right. Just, like, to give you, like, my builder. He's a close friend of mine now, but mm-hmm. when he, um, when he built, when he like remodeled my cabin and, you know, um, at some point I trusted him enough to be like, listen, can you just tell me what I really need here? Cause I'm from New York city. I don't know what I need here. He's like, well, you need this bathroom to, you need a new bathroom addition and you need this mud room. You need a, a porch with an overhang. Now at the time it sounded like things that were cool to have, but once the winter came around this year, I was like, thank God, I just listened to this guy and did exactly what he said, because he's from right here. And he knows what you need when the weather gets bad, which you forgot because you live in Miami now. But (laughs) but, but you know what I'm saying? And and so now, first of all, I always had that kind of thing with the salesperson in general. I was or I was always like, I just want to know that this person has the same level of like critical thinking and has thought about this more than I possibly could. That's where the value is. And yeah. when you say that, what you just told me about the t-shirt, even though I don't know if people are going to want t-shirts, it shows that you have thought so much and so critically about all the things that would have them or could have them be successful in terms of how their brand looks. A hundred percent. You know, it's like when somebody comes, hey, do you guys do logo? I want a logo. Can maybe a hundred dollars? Like, no, we don't do logo. We have a branding package that we offer you. And it comes with branding, brand consulting, your brand color consulting. We're gonna go with you and see what type of businesses, is, what type of uh, successful businesses are, what businesses are successful in your, in your line of business. How can you know, like, just to get the great idea on how to represent your brand? Yeah, you gotta that talk stage, to them. Yeah, personality. Um, personality. And from that stage, we go to build like the logo, give you options of the logo different color option once that is done you approve it we give you all the social media header bind banner from all social media profiles and also give you a different logo versions for different purpose for print for all this stuff i, I would walk you through like a client folder so you see how mm-hmm. it looks like and then we give you a brand document yeah, oh I've God, gotten one of those before for, for other things. Some it can be overwhelming, but that's why I kind of paid someone to help make like a yeah. branding slide deck for me. But but putting that to the side for a second, oh, like what if I'm I, what I'm kind of most interested in is just the fact that you make the website happen. Mm-hmm. You make a good looking website that is set up properly for SEO. Now all mm-hmm. the things you talk about, like for me, they would I consider them upsells, but for you, they yeah. you, exactly. they would be upsells, but they're a part of the business, you know what I mean? They're 100%. like a, like a highly designed website, like mm-hmm. more than the basic. I wouldn't, I'm not interested in selling it because it's not part of our model and how we make a lot of money long-term. Yeah. So you get on the phone with someone, they typically point out things that they like. They're interested in, in um, like, what's the, from this point that they know that you could do a good job for them. Mm-hmm. Do you pitch the idea of what the website will look like, or do mm-hmm. they have confidence that you know what they'll like? Yeah. Or, and then how does that move from getting the pricing and then them purchasing? Amazing question, right? So once once you pick up the type of website that they want, I just kind of go over 
go over a drawing with them. Like, um, I can't, I just, like if any type of business that you have, I would just go, okay, from the type of business that you have, I can just already print different type of uh, tab, tab, tabs that you need on the website. Yeah. So menu straight up, going to have the logo on the, on the left. It's like standard, standard stuff. Logo yeah. on the left, this is your, your, your menu bar. And you're going to have either a plain banner or a banner with it, like with a button to go somewhere. And then the next phase is like, maybe you want to outline different type of services you offer, maybe in a bullet, maybe in square, all together as one. And after that, that's that space, you want to have something that you like that screams your business, right? Something that screams your business for, for instance, in our in our industry, like as your industry, you can have banner, different type of services that you have. And then below it, you can put different type of rankings that you have or different type of what makes us different section, that kind yeah, of there's a formula. Essentially, yeah. yeah. You and you understand right now the formula for different industries. So even if someone were to come to you, um, one second here. If someone were to come with come to you with uh, an industry that maybe you don't you've never seen before, mm -hmm. like do you know anything about like pest control? I have a pest control. Plan. All right, but let's say you didn't, right? Or do you know anything about let's say um, I'm, I'm trying to stump you here about um, something like a drywall contractor? A drywall contractor, right? So yeah. You, what I'm saying is, you do you like if. What you what they do is they make like you know they put drywall in, but you'd be able to essentially figure out what they need and demonstrate to them with your expertise on how to convert their business into a website. Like you'd be able to do that, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. It's like straight for like few questions, very simple, right? It's like okay, you have what type of what different type of services do you have? They give you the different type of services that you have. What makes them different? A small count. What well, makes them different? And you put like, okay, this is service one, service two, service three, service four. What makes it different? Boom, boom, boom. You put sub subtitles on it. I'm gonna walk you through. Uh, if we have enough time, mm. I'm gonna walk you through like a client that we just closed yesterday, and I show you all the details that we went over with him. It's like on the call, I just outline the website, like the about a section. That's nice. Your service section. It's nice if you have done different type of projects, project, travel projects that you want to mention. I'll give you like relevancy. You mention them and we mm -hmm. put them right below your services. This is this is really hold on, Nahami, this is really good. We need to have a separate conversation for this so mm -hmm. that we can come to it um, fresh and get the full thing. Like we because this is this is really big because it's potentially something that someone could offer to someone and walk them through to have them feel really confident because a lot of people are you know we're they're working with people who have already a crappy website or mm -hmm. a website or no website or something that they know isn't right they want it to be like all of those things so mm -hmm. i think this would be really good to hear on a separate session man no, definitely i'm excited you know this is for the last year and a half i completely take myself out of like the designing this 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 portion yeah what i do is more. i get on the call with the client just you'll be the eric out. brief you'll be the, you'll be the eric brief, brief business go over okay what type of business do you have you like the website you like this style amazing here's what we're gonna do on the top section we are gonna have something similar as the one you like yeah, you want a button to go in the middle. Well, where would that button be? What's your call to action? You think it's better for people to email you or call you yeah. or fill out the form? Right? You're like onboarding someone. Like your um, questions have them see the future of a great website already. Exactly, yeah, and they, awesome. remember they haven't paid yet. They haven't paid anything yet. They of don't course. know. They don't even still have, don't know how much it's gonna it's gonna be. Well, so think you about already, this. Hold on, wait, you got you got what you just said was really great. You, you're not so. Let me just be clear. There's a difference between giving something away for free, mm -hmm. and then like rather than taking the time to sell them and then have them get to the other side. You're already bringing them to the other side. Yeah. And that in itself is more powerful than saying, so are you going to do this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All so right, keep from, going. Sorry. From, from, from a lot of time from that, dem from that demonstration, it's like, I don't see as somebody that's going to not do the work. I already see them like, okay, this client is already in. It's all about me just going through the 
opening yeah. and generic inevitable yeah yeah it's inevitable so i'll just go over like the type of things that we spoke about oh different services you have done something in the past that you're part of that you wanted to be going to mention it we add that are you part of an organization or something that we would make you look more relevant in your space that we can add in one section of the footer. You have different addresses that we can put in the footer, your social media accounts that you, you're gonna put on the footer. By the way, if you have great pictures on Instagram, we can connect it with the website so people can see all the type of work that you did in the past and how your customer react, like how you interact with your customer. Yeah, well, yeah. So this you're is painting, like- You're painting a serious picture here. Yeah, and so the whole thing yeah. is already done. Yeah. So let's, let's, so this part is like, obviously you have an excellent amount of expertise. I can see the whole thing from what you're telling me. Yeah. So now there, here's where we are in the conversation is, all right. So Mohammed, you've painted this whole picture for me. I want to buy from you, take it to the access to me having the website now. So how do I get your website? So how can I do this? Which essentially is another way of saying how much does it cost? Yes. So what I'm going to do here, I'm assuming you already have a logo. Do you? Yes. And they're going to be like, yes, I have one. I, was but like, I don't hey. like it. Yeah, exactly. A lot of time they would see the website and they already imagine the logo being there is now better. Be yeah. Yeah, exactly. They're, well, they know. Well, first of all, you know that it'd be easier to design a website if you were in control of all the uh, visuals anyway. Exactly. You know, because what happened is you know, like we tell, okay, you have a logo or not? It's like, oh, I have one, but I would like to change it. I would like to build something. I was like, okay, why don't I open? I, own, I feel like I already have a good understanding of the services that, like of everything that you need and tell me if I'm wrong. I have a generic proposal here. This is for one of the clients that we did. One of the clients that is, a, that a, a thing is a same position as you. And this is what they did with us. First, branding. Branding. We built. Uh, we, we design and we design the logo, and this is what it looks like. Boom, 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 boom. Mm. I'll just go on the client folder, open the folder, and show them everything. Yeah. The branding section. They this see is that. your demo. The thing yeah. is, you're already so far ahead. I'm. I'm asking you to the next place. So yeah. you're still. See, if for me, right? I'm a client. I'm already sold, Muhammad. I don't need you to sell me anymore. I just want to get off the call because I know you're the guy. I'm busy. And I'm, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so tell me, so I'm interested, Mohammedy, tell me. <laughs> All right. So, okay. I feel like I already know what you, what you want. And I'm going to show you a proposal that is exact, like of somebody that is exactly the same position you are. And the total here is $4,575. And you do oh. like, this is for your branding. This is for the web design. This is for the yeah. logo. Okay. And you break that down everything is breaking down. And what I was about to show you is maybe a question that comes after the 400, like $4,575 sex question. I was do like, you have a recorded, do you have a, do you have a recording of some of these? No. Make, can you make a recording for me? Okay. I want to go through yours to see if there's anything we can do to help make this. I'm okay. sure you probably yeah. saw something when we did the webinar the other day, when I walked yeah. through the proposal. Yeah. I'd love to see how you do this. Probably learn something from you. But okay. keep going. Yeah. So I would open. I would open. A, I would open a sample proposal because I'm not gonna. I don't uh, want to be like, oh, I work on a proposal and then send it to you. This, this is like no. What's gonna happen is like an Eric Eric Brief method. Do you see the proposal? Can you open it for me? You know. Yeah. But not, in this case, I'm opening the proposal. Right. I'm opening a sample proposal of a client, and I show him this is the proposal. This is the. Uh, the proposal for, of this client. This is the breakdown of everything that he has done. And I believe you need the same thing. And this is how the website looked like. And this is how the website performing for, for, for a long time, right? What do you think? And they'll be like, oh, 4,000. 4, if they have an issue with the price, just go over everything. This is what you're going to get. If you think that you don't need run establishment, you have that figured out already. No problem. Just exit up. Or you think you have the logo, whatever logos you have. Mind you, the color of your logo reflect the color of your business. If you're happy with the colors that you have, we're just going to work with those colors. You don't have to do anything on the branding side. Mm. You know what I'm thinking, man? Mm -hmm. 
I got to see you do this in order to understand. Um, I, I'm seeing there's a possibility for you to make this part shorter and for it to be more effective. Efficient. Okay. Yeah, efficient. And also maybe not lose money when someone doesn't want something. Exactly. You know what I'm because saying? Like because here, like you're taking your pens down. Trying to exactly. Well, somebody told me like, listen, I don't want you to um, get me directory listings. I'd say like, I can't do that. I can't give you a discount because ultimately I need to look at your directory listings to know whether or not they're right, whether you have in the right areas or, because if that's not there, then that's a missing piece of the formula. So even if they don't want that, you still need to do something about it. If they don't want you to make a new logo, you need to adapt that logo to the right format and the right shape, size, whatever it is, right? So I'm wondering if there's an opportunity there because you're essentially, you're still going to have to offer value in that area. It's just going to be a uh -huh. different kind of value. Kind so maybe of it sounds like there's an opportunity there for you. Yeah, not to take the old thing off and but build on top of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I want to see this, man. So um, because I feel like you, I, essentially what it's all about when you're doing like a one-time order, mm -hmm. if, well, I want you to get more than one-time orders. Um, but what it's all about is having that order have be as for as much money as possible 100%. because yeah, because ultimately let's say you're, you're, I mean, right. How many websites did you sell last month? Last month, I would say four. Right. So you sold four websites and let's say each website is, um, is $3,000. Mm -hmm. So is, is the, is that what, what was the high low? High, high. I would say, highest was forty seven hundred. Yeah, seven hundred, and the lowest was like actually uh, a business partner website for twenty one hundred. Okay, see, it, I mean, I'll dare say you almost did someone kind of like a favor. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. Now yeah. you've got like four websites here. Uh, let's just call it twenty five hundred bucks, just to keep the number around. Yeah. So you you make ten thousand dollars. You 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 know top line, and but what if you could literally get twenty percent more from each job? I mean, from each website. I mean, how much money would you be making per month? A lot more. Yeah, two thousand, and then yeah. times twelve, twenty four thousand. That would be twenty four thousand dollars. Is you know. Yeah. Not uh -huh. no no. It's not jump change, right? Uh -huh. no. And so there, yeah. So right. yeah, and and it's not even like you're you're offering pretty much the same value no matter what, whether someone decides to choose that they want something or not. Like you're essentially in charge of their whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And so, if my con, I mean, I'll just give you the last example. If if my contractor gave me a quote on a house to buy build a new house, and I'm like, yeah, but I don't want you to do the electrical. What you'd say is like, well, that's a pain in the ass because I need to coordinate with this person. I have this team that already does it the way I want them to do it. They come when I want them to do it. They understand my instructions and they, we've worked together and our communication is already great. And so the person's like, yeah, but I already have the guy for that. I'm like, I know, but this package comes with this and this is going to make it easier for me to do your job. It's probably going to cost you less money, even if they've given you a lower quote. Mm -hmm. And that is something really important, right? Yeah, that would be it's like very oh, big. Give me one second. One second, sorry. So yeah, so sorry about that. So yeah, you're essentially like that whole. It's all one thing. So I'm one just thing. the first thing I'm thinking about is like, let's not lose any money on those things. Uh -huh. That's the first thing. All right. But I, what I'm dying to see is a recording of you, one of your demos so that I can see how you present your better proposals. And so I can see how you walk someone through the process of like yeah. painting the future picture of their website. Uh -huh. But I mean, unless there's anything else, I think we're pretty good. Let's set up the next session for us to talk about that. Is that good? Amazing. Let's do All it. Right. Thank you so much. Cause right. I think we're really going to help you big time. And I'm, I'm getting so much value from how you see the websites and mm -hmm. how we could structure that potentially. We, we have to make people websites sometimes. Um, and just like, I mean, it's, we always have to do something with them. So the I'm definitely is, researching that. Yeah. Ahead, you said the and a great part is like, this is 
my job right right here after the client signed the proposal my job is done the next call that we set up yeah is with the team right yeah the rest of your team your, your partners essentially exactly. the, yeah. the main main designer is going to be on the call and i have the account manager which is a girl her name is marcella Mm-hmm. And what Ava is going to be communicated and she's coordinating the design team, like design team, design team, and the other guys coordinating the development team. Yeah, everybody knows so, what they're doing and exactly. they're on the same page. And so, as soon as he leaves me, and that's it. You know he's there in good hands, right? Exactly. Yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly how I feel too when we're done. All right, so let, let's go offline and schedule the next time for us to, uh, to pick this up. Okay. Um, and it's been awesome. I'm going to... I'm going to send this over to, uh, to Mike. Thanks a lot, bud. Talk to you soon. Appreciate it. Sure. Take it easy.